Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. I have two uh, power backup units here, and they're both made by APC, different size. This one right here, it's uh, the Pro 1000. It's about 600 watts or so. And this bottom one, it's uh, SMX 1500 uh, RUMC model, I believe. It's about 1200, 1300 watts. And the difference between them is uh, the batteries they use. So you can see I got four batteries here. This bottom unit runs on 48 volts for four batteries. This is a 24 volt model and it runs on two batteries in series. And these are also in series, these bottom four. And basically, you know, some of us want to try little projects, have a, a, a good modified or pure sine wave inverter. And sometimes you can find these at the Goodwill Recycle Center and, you know, you can pick them up for free or really cheap. Both of these have bad batteries, and I do plan on using one of these to hopefully power a compressor in a remote location. And the compressor, I believe, is about a, about a horsepower or so. So I'm thinking about using this bottom one and upgrading the batteries. Here's some, uh, some specs on the batteries. All it says is 12 volts, 34 watts per cell. Not sure of the amperage, but... Uh, I want to go with something like from, you know, some deep cycle batteries from Sam's Club or maybe some golf cart batteries, you know, try to stay in the 100 amp or 150 amp hour rating so I can have a 40, 48 volt battery and 100 plus amp hours. And my, my idea is to use something like a, a midnight solar uh, charge controller, maybe an MPPT, you know, something about 300 bucks that can output 48 volts. And I can be charging these. Well, not these batteries, but the, the ones I'm going to upgrade with. And hopefully I can have a good uh, a good inverter. Here's some of the specs real quick. And we should be looking here at the bottom. Which is a 1200 watt output. Not sure if that's a max or if I can surge it a little bit higher. But hopefully, um, hopefully I can power my compressor. And you got all these outlets, but I'm only going to use one. Same thing for this one here. They got all this extra uh, Ethernet ports and whatnot. But uh, yeah, these are the batteries that come with it. And if I wanted to put the original batteries, you're looking at around 60 it's about 60 to $70 on eBay or Amazon. But I want to get more than six minutes out of this unit. You know, hopefully I can get about... 30 minutes of continuous runtime on a 100 amp hour battery and they also have um, on some of these on some of them you can run an external pack this one just says uh, 48 volts from battery pack so I'm assuming that's a battery pack that plugs in here to give it extra extra power and this top one doesn't have any of those options but these are kind of cool I mean most inverters you get from China don't have a, you know, to show you the in or the outlet. This one has readings for uh, battery output and, you know, how, what's the percentage of the battery. And it also has your load. And like I said, I don't have batteries on it, but um, it's kind of cool to have the little meter there. So, pretty much for this video, like I said, you know, you can find these for cheap at recycle centers or the Goodwill, garage sales. You know, some businesses might give them away, so Craigslist would be another option. And you can use these, like I said, instead of a, one of those cheap 5,000, 10,000 watt made in China inverters. I mean, I've, I've used them before and I can only get maybe about four to 600 watts on them. But um, I always remember to use a, a fuse. This one's a 60 amp fuse. Which will probably be the same one I would keep probably, or maybe an 80 amp on the on the batteries I upgraded with so pretty much pretty much for this video here and you got your fan it had a, a network card in here that uh that was removed and that's pretty much it for this video like I said 1200 watts I was hoping it was close to 2000 but guess not all right, guys. Well, y'all have fun. Take care. And if y'all work with electricity, just be safe. And 
if you do catch something on fire make a video and share with us all right guys be careful bye bye